Hello everyone and welcome to this basic assembly practice in Onshape. It consists of three brackets and two pins. Let me show you the exploded view of this. Okay, so we will model this bracket, this first bracket with uh, one sketch only and a part studio. We will insert that in the assembly and then we will model the pin top down, so to say, or an on shape that's called create part studio in context. Let's have a look at the drawing. So here are the measurements for the bracket. 30 millimeters high and wide, you get the front view, the left side view, and the top view. You get that hole, 10 millimeter, the center from the edge, with a 10 millimeter diameter. And the bottom part as well, same distance. And then we have this notch here, 4 millimeter by 5, 20 millimeter from that edge. And then we have um, four fillets of one millimeter. Okay. There is an assembly drawing as well for this angle here that is 45 degrees, and that one as well. And um, for that pin dimension, there is a one millimeter distance between those two faces. So we get two millimeters of that bracket, two of that one, and then that one millimeter. Okay. So I'll start in an empty part studio. Take the sketch tool, pick that right plane, press N for a normal view, P, hide all planes, then Take the line command, come down and to the left like this, then <clears throat> take the sketch fillet, pick those two, accept that and give it that three millimeter radius. Now with D, I go into the dimension command and give this that height of uh, 30 millimeters. Then press E for the equal constraint between that edge and that one. Now I press O for the offset and take those three lines and give it the dimension of two millimeters. Okay. Now I'll connect those endpoints. Press V for vertical constraint. That sketch entity turns black, which means means that it is fully constrained. And from here over there, again with H, the horizontal constraint. All right. Now let's take that two-point corner rectangle and define that notch here. So the distance from the top is 20 and the length or the height of the notch is 5. All right. Let's continue with that corner rectangle. Draw one here, draw one over there. Give that a dimension of 5. And a distance from the outer edge of 10. 
Now do the same thing here. 10 and take the E for the equal constraint between those two. All right, let's have a look at that. And space with uh, shift E, I go into the extrude, take everything, give that that width of 20. I'll make that symmetric, accept that. Then I'll rename that part bracket and change the appearance to some light gray here. Make that sketch visible again here. Mm, maybe for now we will change the appearance of that part and go to hidden edges visible. So there's the sketch in the center and there's our part. Let's first work on that notch. I go to extrude, go to remove, hover over that um, region, make a right mouse button click and go to select other and take that um, sketch region and then go to starting offset from entity from right here and the depth of that was four millimeters okay there it is and now let's go into the revolve and again Hover here, right click, select other, go to that face of sketch one with the revolve axis right here, removing from our part. All right. One more time here. All right. We can pick it right away and revolve that around here, removing. Okay, let's turn that shaded mode on again and hide our sketch. Then go to the fillet, radius one millimeter, and pick those edges here. Okay, so. The modeling of the bracket is finished. And we switch to that assembly tab. Insert that part here or somewhere. And right click on the part and fix that. All right, so from the assembly drawing, um, Let's remember, so first I'll with a uh, control C and control V, I'll insert one part here, double click on that, move that over there, then Rotate that here and rotate around here. Okay, make it a little closer. And now with the fastened mate, let's um, define the position the relation between those two brackets. So I'll take that edge of that hole. Notice that the blue one, that is the Z axis, 
and take that one over here. Okay. So first I'll make an offset of minus one. Okay, so there is a distance. And then I'll rotate around that Z axis with um, 45 degrees. Accept that. And so that one was fixed and that one being connected with the fastened mate has no degrees of freedom anymore. Okay, so now let's um, create that pin in the context of this assembly. Go to this um, icon, create part studio in context, all right? Okay, we need one origin, one mate connector to start that command. Okay, let's do that. Hover over that edge. There it is. Go back to the command. Take that mate connector. Accept that. And we're in a new part studio, part studio two, a third tab. And we get these three planes and that top plane is right where we want to start sketching or deriving geometry so let's go into the sketch command take that plane go to u to use geometry which is that edge and that's it. We don't need any more um, sketching. Okay, now I'll press P to hide all planes. Go to extrude. Take that region. Make that up to face. Take that face there. And a new solid will be extruded. There it is. I'll call that pin and change the appearance of that to some, well, that red. All right. Now let's insert that pin into our assembly and on shape switches us back to our assembly. I can hide that mate connector and I'll just um, select that bracket 2, press Control C, Control V, and there is our third bracket. I'll double click that and um, move that. So I will rotate here and rotate around here, get that closer, compare that to the drawing. Okay, and now I will define the position of that last bracket again with a fastened, fastened mate. So I'll start on the second bracket, touch that edge and define that mate connector that way. Again, the Z axis is pointing um, from the normal of that face. And then again, that edge. And just like the first time, I will offset that minus one. There it is. 
and rotate that around the z-axis 45 degrees okay I will reorient the secondary axis and get that in position now the last step I select the pin control C control V and again with a fastened mate hover over that edge hover over that one accept that and there is our assembly well I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one